we're here in Vienna Airport, about to take off to Dubai. So now it's time for a camel ride. This is not a camel, this is a bicycle, but I need a bicycle to get to the camel. So I'm riding here on my bicycle in this beautiful Al Wadi Ritz Carlton Resort. I think uh, I'll be shooting a bit of a music video on it as well. All I want is to be I think I'll be asking as well, what kind of music the, the people listen to there? I mean, the camel tenders, the lords of the camel, uh, the Bedouins. Uh, that'd be quite interesting to know what, what the sound uh, of the desert really sounds like. Lucy is going to be filming me. Here's my music traveler bag. Good morning. Oh my God, there's a, there's an oris, a strange horny goat. What's the name of the camel? This is Millie. Hey Millie. There we go. One can get used to it. I think once one starts riding camels, it's like riding a bicycle, really. I did actually do a video on an elephant before. I believe it was for Sherlock Holmes for the soundtrack. Do you know what kind of tea the camels drink? Water? No, they drink chamomile tea. So a camel like this does not have to drink for a week. Is that right? Yeah. But uh, then, after the seven days, usually there's a big party yeah. and they drink, they drink champagne. I hope you enjoyed the sunset and now the desert. So we're here at the Al Wadi Desert. This is one of the horniest goats of Dubai. Oh, need the camera because there's another animal that I've just. Oh my god! And it seems to be very tame. Very tame, not scared at all of human life forms. Yeah, he's not, no, he doesn't really seem to mind human life forms. Let's pet him a bit, pet him. Oh, now he's scared. <laughs> As you can see, I have the Al Wadi Desert right behind me and I'm going to get ready now for the classical photo shoot that we'll have. So we'll wear classical attire with our violins and uh, I think that could fit really well into the desert. We had our video shoot here with this incredible background. Basically, it was with Lucy Landymore, who is a wonderful multi-percussionist and composer, and Alexandra Prusil, who is a very dear friend, a fantastic violinist. They're both technically not dancers. Actually, uh, Lexi Prusil is a wonderful ballet dancer, as you may have seen in some of my shows. <laughs> I'm always trying to convey in the Muse News. Us musicians, we can do whatever we want. Remember that song? I won't ever do what you tell me. Hey, hey, honey, y'all. I won't do whatever I want. Many 
people may talk and, and they will talk and they will talk smack and rubbish and, and horrible things about us, about us loonies. But you know what? That's okay because we control our own narrative. At the same time, if we're not affected by what people say, we have 100% freedom. This is not always easy to do, but once you understand it, it's so liberating. So, enjoy. All I want is to be do, be do. We're here at the beautiful Ritz-Carlton Alhambra, quite a contrast to the desert. We've got our own pool here, which is beautiful to practice violin in. Let me show you around a little bit. Follow me. The Alhambra Island, which this hotel is actually built on. It's quite an interesting uh, history. The United Arab Emirates are Muslim, but of course, Alhamra, ham. So they don't eat pork, but this island was based on ham, essentially. So this was quite an, a discrepancy. That's why they decided to get rid of the ham and build this resort. Look, a hammock. Oh yes, that's the life. Push me, come on. Push me. Push me. Oh yeah, that's it. One of the hardest things um, in life is when you really have to work during hot temperatures. Filming for Amuse News can really be exhausting. Also, there's the danger of coconuts falling on my head, so I'm in grave danger, but I do all my stunts myself. For example, this one. Danger could be my middle name, but it's Jeff. But now it's time to get serious. We tried to find the sounds of the desert. It's pretty silent. The Ritz-Carlton Dubai is going to put me together with a local musician, actually. One of the musicians who works at the Arab restaurant. And through him, we're going to discover some local musicians and we're going to see what kind of music they play. <laughs> Just getting ready to meet an Arab musician. Apparently he doesn't speak English. Uh, my Arabic is literally non-existent, but I guess we'll just have to try it out. We are at the gold souk, which means it's the gold market here in Dubai. So this is rather exciting. <laughs> This is the spice souk, or where all the herbs and spices are in Dubai. We are now in the textile part of Dubai, the textile souk. Now I'm looking for music instruments. Uh, music like the old ones or the new ones? Old ones. Old instruments, oh. Arab instruments. So far we did not have any luck finding instrument shops. Uh, but we have some more to explore tomorrow. Uh, here's a guy with a falcon. We have 
I've just had a really delicious meal in uh, the Arabian Tea House. Still having trouble finding local music because everything is kind of shut because of uh, Corona times. Hoping to meet up with the violinist tomorrow and he's still trying to find a percussionist. Until then, we're going to hit the night in Dubai. <laughs> Hello, this is Lucy reporting for Amuse News. Amuse News takeover because Alexi told me he can't be bothered to do it anymore except for the fact that he's got loads and loads of time on his hands. He just can't be bothered. He would rather sit in bed all day and play video games. I mean, we could all see that coming from the last episode with the video games. I like playing your computer games, computer games, computer games. Yeah, so it's me from now on. Yay! Every episode so, no, at no, the no, beach. Wait, wait. Yay! What are you doing? Hey, hey, hey. Ah! This is Lucy taking over Amuse News. Here we have the Burj Khalifa. Wow. This is where the fountains happen. Have a look at this. Playing different music, the old classics, normally from the 80s, 90s, Michael Jackson, that kind of stuff. Frozen. And also some traditional Arab music also plays if you're lucky. So, after many attempts, this is the closest that I can get to the Burj Khalifa outside. I'm here at the Dubai Mall. Of course I have to keep my mask on. Let's see what they have to offer. I have found Al Nasma. Real camel milk chocolate. <laughs> one of those famous music shops in Dubai. In fact, it happens to be a virgin megastore. Can you believe those still exist here? <laughs> that is seriously old style. They even have records here. Vinyl records. This is the newest albums that, that have just been released here in uh, Dubai. They may be just a little bit behind. And uh, you can buy pianos here. I'm trying to find right now um, the elevator to the VIP entrance for the Burj Khalifa, the tallest building in the world. We're gonna go up to the 148th floor, the top floor of it, and see what happens there. This is the view from uh, the Burj Khalifa at Samson. From dusk till dawn on top of the Burj Khalifa. Dubai is a place of superlatives. It's got incredible buildings. It has the highest building in the world, but it also has the smallest bus. It is built for dwarfs. We're here in the Ruffles Hotel. Quite a beautiful, gorgeous place. We're going to Tomo a Japanese restaurant in the Ruffles Hotel in Dubai. Here we go, with Lucy and Lexi. So 
so now we're here at the Burj Al Arab Hotel. We had to pretend it's Lexi's birthday in order to get some food. Some. <laughs> It's it's her half birthday plus a, a, a week. Uh. <laughs> um, videography right Join <laughs> my Negroni here. Oh yeah, that's right. But it, it's traditionally drunk up the nose. <laughs> here at the Burj Al Arab, the most famous fancy hotel. The bar upstairs, it's a little underwhelming if I want to be honest. We've just had some uh, crazy news. We were about to fly to the Maldives tonight. We were going to meet with the musicians and question them about music, jam together, learn from them when I got a positive corona test. <laughs> Now, I already had COVID-19 in November and I even have strong antibodies. So it's really weird that I have a, a positive test. It doesn't really make any sense at all. I spoke to people here and it just means I have to quarantine in this room or suite for 10 more days. <laughs> thousand years later after 10 days in quarantine i'm just getting ready to meet the musicians i'm very very excited uh, this is our last day here they should be coming here any minute and we'll find out more about music here in dubai this is muatas and salman who are going to be uh, teaching us a little bit about arab music maybe So we're here, um, we're here with Muatas and Salman yeah. in Dubai. Finally, we are able to meet. Arab music is not equal in every country. You have many different styles. In Syria, you have a different style. Yes, from. Yes. Do you have a style of Dubai or United Arab Emirates, a specific style, local? Yeah. Yes. Gulf music. Gulf music. How would Syrian music be, for example? How, how would it sound? Damascus. Yeah, okay, from and, Damascus. and as a contrast, how would something from Dubai sound? Golf music. Golf music. from Emirates cannot do what the Saudi play. Mm -hmm. Lekhbeti, or Lekhbeti, the Maharaj. One, two, three, four, okay? Yes. When you play... Yes. Yeah. Yeah. This. Yes. yes. You have to... Yeah. This is one, two, three, four in golf rhythm. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. What is the name of the rhythm? Khbeti. Khbeti. Khbeti in Russia, Khbeti. Khbeti. Yeah, like in Russia, Khbeti. What does Khbeti mean in Russian? Khbeti? Oh. You have many countries, you have different grooves. For example, in Vienna, where we live, and you have the waltz, you know, the famous waltz. Except the rhythm is one, two, three, one. That's not. You know how the rhythm is? But you know Beethoven's Ninth Symphony.
way to learn how is the culture and then change it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. How do you, you tune the violin in, Ar in Arabic countries? G, D, G, G, D. G, D. Yes. <laughs> Play like like yes, this, yes, right? Yes. Moroccan, yeah. your own music as well. When you write for film music, do they ask you please make it Arabic style? No. 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 You just write what, what, what you feel. What, what, yes. Do you know that he did a, like a Corona video <laughs> with his son? Aww. It's called Stay at Home. Stay you, in Home. Stay yeah. in Home. It's called <laughs> Stay in Home. <laughs> song, uh, not I make it. He, uh, he wrote yes, it. Yes, yes. I want to show his stay in home video, <laughs> which is genius. It's basically like my song. Corona na na na. Stay at home. Corona na na na. Don't you move. But better. In Arabic. In Arabic, yeah. It's like the Corona na na na, but in Arabic. Stay in home. Don't go out. Don't go out. Stay in home. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Episode was streamed on Music Traveler. Check it out on musictraveler.tv. And above all, subscribe to my channel and become the greatest human being since sliced bread.